Now, you and your viewers, let's welcome our great British voices then. Let's see what they think. It's their opportunity to be on the show and tell us what they think about the topics we're discussing. Uh, I've got four of you. I'm going to start with Lee Webb in Bedfordshire. Are Labour under the thumb of the unions? I think oh. it actually depends on what union they're under the thumb of. Mm. Certainly, the Steel Workers Union, they're not under the thumb of. Certainly, Unite Union, which um, do our all workers and think things like that, they're not under the thumb of because they're totally ignoring those jobs that they're going to waste through the um, net zero. And um, things like the National Farmers Union, they, they're getting rid of loads of farmlands, making it harder for them to work. And so, therefore, they're not under the thumb of them. I think some of the state sector unions, mm. totally, they are under the thumb of. Mm. But private unions that do private businesses, yeah. no. Mm. All right, Alan Cook, what do you think in London? Hi, Nana. Well, I don't think they're under the thumb because they're actually hand in hand with the unions. So they're, they're part and parcel of the same thing. It's where their funding, their money does actually come from. They've got into government by pretending to be a low tax centralist party. However, you know, Keir Starmer is as hard left as the uh, unions are as well. So uh, it's the wrong question, really. It's uh, uh, we're going to make have... up the questions. Don't tell me what's wrong. Let's move on. <laughs> of course, yeah. But, uh, no, they're not under the thumb. The they, I hate to have people do that. You are... ask them a question and they go, it's the wrong question. The question you should be asking. Yeah, go on. You've got I'm 10 sorry, seconds I always to finish do that. that. 10 seconds. <laughs> this will snowball. They, they, will, they will give this money away because it's a, it's a socialist government and they will just borrow and they will tax more and then it will start well, a snowball so effect like, and then the other unions yeah, yeah, will want more like, money as well. It like, sounds like the Conservatives anyway, to be honest. Uh, let's go to Dan Bryan. He's there in Hull. Dan. You're being bossy today, aren't you? It's, it <laughs> Not is unusual. Um, uh, Labour has always been hand in hand with the unions. I, I do agree with what um, the other gentleman was saying. But the thing is, they've removed one of the, um, the policies that was to make the unions provide a minimum service during strikes mm. and they're taking that away so they don't have to do that anymore so if they're not careful the tail is going to be wagging the dog exactly exactly that's a really good point you make there uh, julie ford in bedfordshire are they under the thumb of the unions no i don't think they are under the thumb of the unions i agree with the other panelists here i think it is a hand-in-hand -hand situation um, but also, we've finally got a career economist in charge of, um, you know, the Exchequer, which I think is ideal. And obviously, she's going to be looking at it from the financial perspective, whereas previously, um, the chancellors may have been looking at it from a different perspective. So, no, I think they're hand in hand. And I do think that the pay rise for the NHS and teachers is very much welcomed, as long as it goes to frontline workers and doesn't go to the back office staff who are already on 100,000 a year. Mm, all right. Thank you so much for all of your thoughts, Lee Webb in Bedfordshire. Alan Cook, a bit lippy Alan Cook in London, <laughs> Dan Bryan in Hull and Julie Ford in Beverly. Lovely to talk to you all. Right, the Next well, up, though, are you going to do it as well? He won't no, be invited no, back no, next Sunday, will he? <laughs>